Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and joining me today is Peter Dembicki. He is the president and CEO of Tier One Silver. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, TSLV on the TSX Venture and TSLVF on the OTCQB. And Tier One Silver will be presenting at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek happening September 13th through 16th, 2022. For more information, please go to PreciousSummit.com. And with that, Peter, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Robert. It's great to have you. So we did an interview together about a year ago, but before we get into the updates and all that stuff, you know, for those that haven't seen that interview or haven't heard Tier 1 Silver, can you give us that quick overview of the company? Yeah, for sure. I can't believe it's actually been uh, a year already, but uh, Tier 1 Silver is uh, an aggressive exploration company focused on finding the next silver, copper, and gold discoveries uh, in the world. Uh, so we're going after massive kind of game changer discoveries uh, with our assets based in Peru. Very good. All right. So last time we did that interview together that we published it, it was on September 7, 2021. So right. let's get that update. What, what would you say are some of the company's highlights in the last okay. 12 months? But yeah. Like I said, uh, a year has gone by and so much has happened within the company. So uh, a year ago from today, we had just started, uh, commenced our first ever drill program at our flagship project called Curabaya. Uh, this this project drew a lot of attention early on, even before we listed as a public company last June, um, uh, because we found this endowment of extreme high grades on surface, uh, and we really needed to know, you know, what this meant. Uh, when we talk about bonanza grades in silver, your audience is well educated to know we're talking over a thousand grams per ton uh, silver. Um, uh, so to find samples up to 300,000 grams per ton silver and up to a kilo in, in, in gold and having 70 plus samples over bonanza grade silver and 70 plus samples over two and a half grams gold, we had to like, we had to know where is this emanating from? Where is the source? So we just launched our drill program last summer. So I think by the time I, we spoke last, we were only a few holes into the program. Uh, and, uh, and as of hole number six, uh, we had immediate success. Our first Bonanza grade intercept. We followed it up with a couple uh, economic grade, high high grade silver intercepts. And our last hole of the program, which we wrapped up in December, uh, we got our best hole of the entire program, hole number 16 and a meter and a half of 1.2 kilos silver. So huge kind of sigh of relief because everyone was seeing this incredible surface anomaly and saying, is that it? You know, is there anything subsurface? And we were able to prove that it does exist uh, subsurface. But we didn't stop there. And so in the winter of this year, we hired two world-renowned consultants to, to walk the property and to really get a sense, you know, are we on the right track? Uh, do we keep pursuing this? Because we, we just love the grade and we know it's coming from somewhere. And they both came back and said, you guys are on the right track. Uh, but this is a, a story of erosion. And so over 57 million years, Paleocene uh, aged rock and, and era, uh, something is driving this from beneath. And, and pushing that silver system up to surface. And it's, a, it's eroded of bots, which is why you have our best silver intercepts near uh, surface. And it's why you have all these crazy channel sampling and rock samples on surface. Uh, but if you guys go north on your property to this Kenbaya corridor, uh, which has five or 600 meters more in elevation, you're gonna find a more preserved precious metal system underground, which is where you're gonna get your bigger, thicker hits. Uh, Cause we have the grade, now we just need to follow it up with width to make this thing truly uh, a world-class silver deposit. And they said, you know, we don't want to stop there, but we also want to say, uh, we're not sure if you guys weren't looking for it, whether you missed it or whether you're just, your focus was so much on the silver. There is every indication that a huge copper porphyry is linking, is, is lurking right below or nearby driving this silver system up to surface. And so of course we love that. And you think about where we're located in Peru, next to the giants in the industry in Latin America, Cerro Verde, Quiaveco, Tocopala, Cajone, uh, it makes a lot of sense that, that we've come under, you know, a big uh, porphyry discovery here. So uh, so now we're in the midst of, of putting our drill targets together to attack our next drill phase for the silver, but also doing geophysics and more mapping to really get a sense of where this copper porphyry could be and how deep it could be. And so that's Curabaya, our flagship. And we also went out and acquired our second project, Hurricane Silver, last year, which again was silver focused. Uh, we had a brief moment in late in the fall where we could send our geologists up there. They came back with again high grade bonanza grade silver veins outcropping on surface. Uh, so we love that. And just a few months ago, uh, we got access to a northern part of that area at Hurricane Silver, but this one did come with historical drill results. 
And again, drill results, uh, 2.6% copper, 0.62% nickel, 300 grams per ton cobalt. So once again, we have this silver dominant story with these base battery metals coming up from behind, completely changing the scope of each one of these projects independently. So with each of our two flagship projects, premier projects, uh, we have kind of two world-class swings within each of them. Uh, Kurabaya, silver focus with the copper porphyry, Hurricane with these silver veins, followed up with these, you know, I would call them battery metals uh, with the copper, cobalt, and nickel. That hurricane system with those historical drill results, that is the only known copper nickel system discovered in Peru. You know, these are systems that are typically found in Brazil and in Russia that can span for kilometers. Uh, so really foreign to Peru, so which is why uh, a lot of majors have a lot of interest in, in what we found at Hurricane as well. Very good. And then, you know, from what you can tell us to close this out here today, what would you say are the one to two things that you really want investors to focus on when evaluating tier one moving forward? For sure. You know, the the um, the power of silver is incredible. We witnessed this last summer when silver was $30 an ounce, when we listed uh, our company on the TSX Venture, uh, you know, it was flawed. The power of silver is truly strong and it can move mountains when it when it's on. Uh, unfortunately, we've tracked that price of silver with our share price down as we've seen silver go from $30 to 17 and our share price is, is where it is today. So not, not easy to look at on a day-to-day -day basis, but we know that on a macroeconomic scale, uh, you know, the precious metals is a fantastic setup. We just have to get through some geopolitical stuff and, and the US dollar and a few other macroeconomic indicators to really have that launch pad set. So with tier one silver, we have these huge opportunities and you know i scan the our peer group and there's some very high quality companies out there some will have fantastic silver some will have fantastic base metal but no exploration company really has these world beating uh, opportunities within each of their projects on the silver side and on the base metal side and again tier one silver we go after you know the big ones we go after something huge we're not trying to incrementally uh, expand on a, on a resource and, and kind of, you know, clip along. We're going after the big ones right out of the bat. Very good. All right. Well, Peter, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on tier one silver? Yeah, our website has a wealth of information, lots of multimedia as well, all our news releases and to keep up to date with our program, uh, add yourself to our email list or at, uh, tier one silver.com. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great place for all the information. I'll be the first ones to get the news when it gets out. Very good. All right. Well, Peter, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I'll see you in Beaver Creek. Sounds great. Thanks, Robert. Thank you. And again, Tier 1 Silver will be presenting at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek happening September 13th through 16th, 2022. For more information, please go to PreciousSummit.com.